Hello everyone, in this video we will see the gate exam interface and what all are the different options available to you when you are attempting the exam. So you should be familiar with all these options. If you have already appeared in the exam, you will be knowing these details but if you are appearing for the first time then it will be useful for you to understand these details so that you are comfortable with these details in the exam. To start with, go to the official gate website to the IIT Kharagpur's gate page which you would have already seen for downloading the admit card and in the announcement section here we have this option of taking mock test for any gate paper of last year. I hope you have already done that. If you have not done that then please do utilize this. So once you click on that then for all the gate branches we have the last year's gate paper available as a mock test. So it will be beneficial for you to see the different options that will be there in the exam and how the interface looks like. Now from here if we select the civil engineering paper so we come to the login screen in the real exam you will be seeing your name here and the exam which exam you are appearing for and these login credentials it will be given to you at the exam center they will tell you the details for that. Now once you click on sign in then we come on this instructions page. So in the exam make sure you read these instructions you will be given access a little earlier to do that. Now here we have this next option so there are further some more instructions about the number of marks and number of questions which you I think would be knowing by now and once you read all of these instructions you have to click on this option here which says I have read and understood all the instructions the computer allotted to me is in working condition so if the computer is not working properly then you should tell that to the invigilator and then other details like I am not in the possession of something and such details so you should read this properly and once you do that you click here on this tick and then you can log in. Now once you log in here then we have the exam interface this is how it looks like. So let's see what all are the details here. So here these questions are mentioned in the top left part here if you see so the exam name is mentioned and overall whatever you have done will be mentioned that is the number of questions you have answered and not answered not visited not visited and not answered these two are different things here then marked for review and answered and marked for review so this mark for review option is very beneficial in the exam and you should utilize that so we will see that in a minute now under this we have the section part so as we know we have two sections in the exam general aptitude and the technical part so general aptitude if we are here then we can access all the general aptitude questions here and if we go to the technical part civil engineering part then we can access the 55 questions that come under this part so maths is also included here now here on the upper right side we have the calculator so calculator you should try to use if you have not done that already try to get familiar with this and also try to do some calculations in your notepad itself before using the calculator because it does slow you down so only the difficult calculations should be done and you should simplify it a little bit before using the calculator then here for the given question the marks for correct answer and negative marks are also mentioned so for this specific question it is saying if you mark it correctly then there is one mark and if you mark it incorrectly so one by three will be deducted so based on that once you click on the answer you can I mean once you select the option for that question you have all these different options that we will be seeing in a minute but before that if you see this option here which says question paper now this option 
can show you the entire question paper at once using this you can see the whole question paper from here and it will be beneficial for you to glance it at once to see what all are the relevant questions for you but again do not spend a lot of time in that also now another option here if you if the question is big and something is not visible then by using this arrow here you can maximize the question view so only question will be visible in that case and then by pressing it again you can access this window now once you have marked this correct option whatever you think then there are these different options mark for review and next clear response save and next so if we do save and next then the answer i mean it gets registered and this qu question shows in green color so you can see we have green color red color then this gray color and two options in the purple color so green color means that you have answered it and you were sure about that answer also so you can just click on save and next option and move on from that now not answered means that any question that you have visited but haven't given any answer for that that will go in this red color and not visited means these gray color options these are the questions that you have not even seen so obviously you should be able to see all the questions and figure out which all you can answer so for that we have the marked for review option now after reading one question you try to read and try to understand and maybe try to solve also but you think that you will need more time and you don't want to waste more time at this point then you should use the option mark for review and next but do not select any answer here so once you do that then we have this purple color here which tells that you want to look at this question again and try to solve it now instead of that you try to solve a question and you get an answer also but you have some doubt in that question then it is better to mark it at that point and use mark for review and next option now you can see the difference here the question that you have marked for review and a question that you have answered and also marked for review so we have this green icon here which shows that we have answered this question so like that you have to utilize these options of mark for review if you should only use this option even if you have not answered the question you should only use it when you think you can answer it if you see a certain question and you know for sure that you cannot answer it it could be in a case when you don't know some subject then in that case it is better to not mark it for review now apart from that if you are taking more than 5 minutes in any question then also with if you have not answered it then it is better to use a mark for review option for that and move on to the next question so that you can look at this question later now if you have answered a certain question and you want to change the answer then or you want to remove your answer so for that for changing the answer you can just click on the other answer but if you want to remove it then you can click on that same option again then it will remove or also you can use the clear response button here to remove your response from that so these are the few key things you should keep in mind also try to use these options by yourself by going to the gate website as i told and in the exam try to at least go through all the questions and figure out what all you can do it is better to mark questions for review and check them later there might be some question in the later part of the paper that might be easy for you and you don't want to miss on that so initially do not waste too much time on any question and use the mark for review option to visit it later and you should definitely check the paper once again i mean revisit these mark for review questions 
and that can help you maximize your score by attempting the questions that you know of and also it can help you in finding some mistakes if you have committed so i hope this video was useful for you let me know in the comments if you need any more particular details here and we will try to cover that if you think this video would be useful for your friends then do try to share it with them and let us know if you have any other queries